Good morning. It's Monday, February 21st, and I'm Yvisha Klingman, and here are the stories we have for you today. A pizza eating contest coming to Jeff High. And Balfour will be here Thursday. Good morning. I'm Evan Mashmeyer. The JHS Report is next. Attention Art Club members, there will be a guest potter to come in and demonstrate on Friday, February 25th. We will begin promptly at 2.35. If you have previously taken journalism, media arts, photo, and are interested in either newspaper or yearbook, pick up an application from Ms. Short or outside of room C214. Business Professionals of America will hold a meeting on Tuesday, February 22nd after school in room B205. Foreign Language Club compatibility test results may be picked up after school in Ms. Delato's room. The cost is $2. The Papa John's Pizza Eating Challenge presented by the Student Council will be held Friday, March 11th during 7th period. Five students from each grade level and five faculty members will compete to become Jeff High's Pizza Eating Champion. Proceeds from the event will benefit Muscular Dystrophy Association. Attention juniors and seniors, Balfour will be here next Thursday, February 24th during all lunches to take junior class ring orders and senior cap and gown orders. The current cost for senior cap and gown is $50. Once February is over, the cost will go up to $60. So hurry seniors and order your cap and gown before the end of February to save an additional $10. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Balmer in the front office. It's time for today's Black History Month question. Good morning, my name is Jakari Fitzpatrick with today's Black History Month question. Friday's Black History Month question was, what is Lift Every Voice and Sing? Lift Every Voice and Sing is a Negro national anthem. It was written by famous black author, poet, and lawyer, James Weldon Johnson Jr. He wrote this song in honor of President Abraham Lincoln, who freed the slaves. And today's Black History Month question is, what was Brown versus Board of Education about in 1954? We will have the answer to today's Black History Month question on the JHS Report tomorrow. The JHS Report is happy to air your announcement. Simply fill out a form located in the front office or have a staff member email Mr. Gross and we will do our best to make sure that announcement gets on the air. We will have the JHS weather forecast plus your latest Jeff High Sports after the break. In Vocational TV, WJHS, you'll learn the basics of video production, including how to set up and use a lot of video equipment. Not only do we produce a newscast every day, but we have a total of eight different projects we work on throughout the school year. It is fun being a news anchor. It's more like being on a job than being in school. Um, you have the chance to make extra money by selling and producing commercials for local businesses. We're kind of more like a family here than just a class. Like a lot of us hang out together outside of class and we'll just brainstorm about little videos that we can put together. And the end quality is always pretty great. You learn how to shoot video, what techniques to use to make your video the best it can be. We do news and sports stories, video short films, public service announcements, and music videos. We also do sports play-by-play -play and a lot of digital editing. It's a big commitment inside and outside of school, but it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. Good morning and happy Monday, Jeff. Hi, I'm Marissa Garland with today's JHS weather forecast. Today there will be a few showers early, which will become a steady rain for the afternoon. The high will be around 63. Tonight it will be mostly cloudy with periods of light rain early in the morning. The low is going to be around 38 and the chance of rain will be around 90%. Tomorrow it's going to cool down a little bit. The high is only going to get to 42 and there's going to be considerable cloudiness. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at JHS Sports with Mr. Gross. Good morning. Here's a look at the latest Jeff High Sports. The Jeff High girls basketball team won their first regional title since 1998 by defeating Mooresville 59-44 Saturday night at Bedford. Jeff's front line of Brooke Ballantyne, Lake and Roland, and Jalen McLean combined to score 51 points and grab 22 rebounds. Roland and McLean each had 20 points. Ballantyne added 11. Ballantyne completed a double-double with a game-high 11 rebounds. McLean snagged seven boards. Roland had four. Jeff will face Carmel Saturday at Southport High School in the semi-state finals. The Red Devils swimming and diving team set a Floyd sectional record for winning margin Saturday, defeating runner-up Floyd Central by 79 points. Sectional runner-up finishes were recorded by the 200 medley relay team, Austin Smith in the 200 IM and the 100 fly, and Lucas Hennigan in the 100 breast. 
Sophomore Josh Phelps became the first male swimmer diver from Jeff to score a top six finish in diving and in an individual swimming event as he finished fifth in diving and third in the 100 breast. Freshman T. Martin won the 50 and 100 freestyles, freestyles, setting school, sectional, and pool records to earn spots in both events at this weekend's state championship in Indianapolis. Junior Zach Blankenbeger will join Martin at state. He won the 200 and 500 freestyles. The 200 relay team of Zach T, Dylan Applegate, and Ty Arthur also won, setting school, sectional, and pool records, as did the 400 relay team of Zach, T, Dylan, and Austin Smith. Thirteen swimmers will make the trek to Indianapolis this weekend to try to bring home the first top ten finish for Jefferson Mill High School since 1976. All three Jeff wrestlers placed in the IHSAA state finals this weekend. Natto Weekly took second place in the state. He won his first three matches, lost in the finals 3-1 to one to the two-time state champion and number five ranked wrestler in the nation. Jimmy Pratt took seventh place. Alonzo Shepard took eighth place in the most competitive weight class in the tournament. We also had three wrestlers honored for academic All-State, Trey Harbin, Elijah Weekly, and Alonzo Shepard. That's the latest Jeff High Sports. Is joining WJHS a good idea? Does this guy have blonde hair? <laughs> Hungry? Why not try Moby Dick Seafood? 700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Voted best seafood in Clark County. Feed two or more with a box of two or more for only $14.69. Seven days a week, dine in, carry out or drive through. A clean, comfortable restaurant for the entire family. Open till 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop in and have a whale of a sandwich. Finally today, it's a great way to wish a classmate or your special friend a happy birthday. It's easy to do with the JHS birthday greeting. Bring six pictures and five dollars to room 713 at least a day in advance and we will get your birthday greeting on the air. That's the latest Jeff High News. We hope you have a great day. I'm Evan Mashmeyer. And I'm Evisha Klingman. Join us tomorrow for the latest news information and thank you for watching the JHS Report.